Hello everyone, and welcome to my Sister Wise For You channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. The November 20 occasion of Sister Women reveals Christine Brown is open to getting wedded again, Janelle Brown's living arrangement frustrates Cody Brown, and Michael T. forces Christine into hosting a saddening farewell. The occasion begins in Christine's vicinity, the explosive battle at her house, where she was ambuscaded by Cody, Robin Brown and Mary Brown happed a couple days ago. A many days latterly, Janelle pays Christine a visit, both ladies are still applying from Cody's unpredictable and deranged outbursts during the sit-down. The ladies can believe how Cody snapped over Christine's contended poor treated his favorite woman, Robin, Christine admits that in her discussion with Robin, she didn't intend to make it feel like she was cutting off Robin's kitties. No, I didn't mean it like a cut and dry. It's over. Christine explains to Janelle. That's not what I was trying to convey at all. She continues in a talking head confessional. It was really hard telling Robin. I didn't suppose that I could do further. And after the discussion, I realized she was talking about her kitties too. Christine and Janelle bandy how the dynamics of their close relationship will change once she leaves, and how they'll navigate moving forward. Janelle feels their relationship will change and they'll focus on common jests and the kitties. Christine says she considers Janelle to be one of her stylish musketeers. Janelle feels pulled between both sides, her duty to the Browns and managing commitment to Christine. She will not choose a side. Cody appears to be jealous of Janelle and Christine's close relationship. In a talking confessional, he attempts to throw Christine under the machine. I've always wanted my women to have close connections and it's a tragedy to me now later all these times and Christine trash, talking Janelle for four times about the one house thing. Now Janelle and Christine have a better relationship. Cody continues, unsoliciting Janelle for a near relationship. It feels like she's rejecting that and just choosing to have one with Christine. The ladies bandy how will Christine's son, truly, will resolve her time between Cody and Robin's house in Flagstaff and Christine's new home in Utah. Cody offers to have Trudy spend weekends with him at Robin's house. Still, Christine is unconfident that Trudy will feel comfortable. Especially, since Trudy has no way spent a night at Robin's house before, much less a whole weekend and truly has no way spent a night down from her mama. Janelle asks Christine, Do you suppose you'll marry? Christine responds, Motoriety differently, not Cody. Before responding, I'm open. Well, what do you do when you're 50 and healthy? You just can't be alone for the rest of your life. Janelle says in a talking head confessional, I'm just gonna be nosy and I'm going to ask. Janelle adds, I hope she remarries. It's a veritably long time to be alone. Christine described her future as a whole new life. You're no longer wedded, Janelle tells her. Christine admits that she knew that she was starting over again after making the decision to leave the Browns. It's so hard moving on and feeling oak all the time, Christine said of her forthcoming move. I know I'm changing so much, and I know I'm breaking so numerous hearts. Family women Cody and Janelle, not in a realistic relationship Cody visits Janelle on the land to help her with caravan problems. Janelle has been having issues with her trailer not leveling rightly. Cody claims when they work on the caravan problems together, their relationship becomes contentious. Cody says in a talking head, there's a lot of pressure with living in this caravan. He adds, but when we're working on it together, it's not like we're just being sweet with each other. It's a little negative. A flustered Cody rolls up his sleeves and gets under the caravan to try and resolve the issue. Janelle offers to help by driving the trailer up a little so the jack rod can be fitted and makes other helpful suggestions, but Cody grows angry with every input from Janelle. It's so strange to me that we're arguing point, point with this. It's like just this negative relationship. It isn't collaborative. Cody tells the camera, adding, I do not know why. After unsuccessfully getting the caravan to position manually, Cody declares the mobile home a piece off to they vended us a bomb. 
He explains that Ten's situation in a talking head confessional, I'm in a veritably vulnerable place and if I cross a line, will she cross another line? He asks before adding, and that kind of cynicism comes from mellowing 20 times in a plural marriage, and also Christine leaving. A scene from The Vicinity Showdown is played where Christine tells Robin, also we've had so numerous realistic exchanges that happened last time between Cody and I on really what our relationship really looks like and the kind of marriage that we both want. Also, Robin cuts her off and says, you guys don't talk though. You guys don't communicate, so I don't see how that can be licit. I don't suppose Janelle or I are being honest or realistic in this relationship as we communicate with each other about this stuff. Cody admits in a talking head confessional. The whole caravan thing. We know I had a really deep discussion. Not the kind of discussion you have about spending that vast quantum of plutocrat. She no way indeed took any time to look for commodity to rent. I know for a fact there were settlements out there. From Janelle's perspective, she informed Cody about the caravan, but he chose to ignore her. Janelle says that Cody's not tuned in when they're together. I know I had told him I was allowing about the possibility of an caravan. Perhaps he just wasn't paying attention. I mean, he really only sort of really tunes informally in a while. It's not like he's then all the time. And when he's then, he's not always really tuned in. Before Kobe leaves, Janelle tells him that she has six weeks left on her permit to stay on the land and informs him that she doesn't want to stay there for the downtime. And she's formally picked out a reimbursement in city. Cody isn't on board with the idea, although he's not happy with her living in a caravan. He's just not happy with Janelle, period. Family women Cody presses Michael T for info about Christine Michael T. Patron, brings her new baby, Evelyn, to meet her father, Kobe and Robin, amid the primogenitor's messy split from her mama. Christine shares her perspective on her son supporting Robin and Cody in a talking head confessional. Indeed, though I know that I've 100% support from my Kelsey, I know that she also supports Robin 100%, Christine explains. She can balance like nothing I know. Robin and my Kelsey partake a close bond, and Cody's fourth woman wants to maintain a separate relationship with Christine's kitties despite the family peak. I'm so glad you came to see us with everything going on with your mama and everything like that, Robin tells my Kelsey. I just appreciate you coming. Michael C. tells Robin that their relationship will remain unchanged amid the fallout from a recent family discussion that ended with Cody, Robin, and Mary walking down from Christine. Michael C. reassures Robin that she's not taking sides amid the family fermentation. You're still mama, Robin, Michael C. says, and grandma, Michael C.'s hubby, Tony Padron, adds, that's just my biggest thing is making sure our relationship continues and it's grounded on what goes on in our relationship. Robin says, it's not grounded on outside sources. Michael C. agrees. Cody blames the split on his damaged his connections with his children, putting his son and son in law in the middle of the drama. Still, I suppose it's important to support what she wants. Michael C. countries of her mama's decision to leave the family. If it's what she wants. Cody erroneously presses the couple for word about how long they've known about Christine, leaving him. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any updates.